Hi everyone, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. I'm here with the results of my real avocado dye. I did the faux, and this is the real thing now. Uh, I have uh, boiled my, I did one small avocado, I boiled it, or actually simmered it, because I didn't want all my water to boil away. I simmered it for one and a half hours. Here is what I got out. Um, and, <laughs> excuse that little beep. Um, this is the color, which it's hard to tell what color it is. If you can see it a little bit here on the edge, it's kind of a peachy color, like I've been seeing on uh, YouTube and Facebook and places. So, uh, this first time I've done it, I've got my little container, I've got my little foam brush, and we're going to brush it on for the first time to see what color it is. And this is how I do it. I don't dip it in a pan. I find this to work very well and the color goes into the paper well and you know real well and you know I can get an overall uh, color like that or I can dab it on more for different shadings like that so um, I've got copy paper here and the line paper. The line paper is from a composition book and I've used different lined papers but um, I do like the composition book paper. I've used graph paper. You know that comes out good, you know, really good too. So I'm going to show to show you how I spread it out right now. I spread it over with the brush like you see me doing. <clears throat> I know you can't see all of this, but I didn't want to try to, I didn't want to have to try to um, hold the camera in my hand and do this with one hand. So I'm doing it like this. And then we'll let this dry overnight. That's what I do after everyone goes to bed. I spread out this plastic tablecloth on my kitchen island for protection of my countertop and then I spread my papers out and just dye whatever papers I'm dyeing and then they're usually dry by the morning if they're not completely dry I can move them into another room because at that point they're dry enough to either spread out a little bit in another room my craft room or or even stack up to finish drying. So you can see this color is really pretty. I like it. And this wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it was going to be hard <laughs> because it wasn't. It just, you know, took some time for the little bit of boiling or simmering of the avocado. I did put the seed and the skin and I did clean out the skin real good. I scraped it out with a spoon really good and actually rinsed it out also in the sink. I rinsed out the um, skins so that we wouldn't have any pulp in there. So they are looking uh, right now, the color is looking, it's looking really pretty. Uh, I'm not sure if it's leaning more toward pink or peach, but I have doing it this way. I have plenty of, you know, the color in this little container. You know, doing it in a pan, you feel like you need to have a whole pan of the color, whatever color you're doing. But um, I feel like doing it this way, you know, it takes less water. So, and it, you know, I'm dripping, if I'm dripping, I'm dripping on my papers and then going to the paper that I'm working on. So, you know, it takes a little bit of time to spread it out over your papers real good. You don't want, you want to, um, I would say you want to soak your papers really good, you know, so that you want to make sure the solution is soaking into your paper, unless you want white showing, you know, you may want some white showing you know, for shading purpose, you know, just have fun with it, whatever you want, you know, just try different things, that's what I do, 
to get different shades. So, sorry about the parts that you can't see, but um, I just want to show you, I'm gonna to try to pick up the camera when I'm done and show you all the colors, but um, I might not, might not be able to do that. There's one way over here. Let me turn the camera a little bit uh, so you can see these right here. I've got two more over here. And just move my solution a little closer so I'm not dripping all over the tablecloth. But this way I don't get my hands all in it, you know. There's no reason. You know, I'm holding it a little bit here on the edge so my fingers aren't getting into it. But this color probably doesn't stain your hands like food coloring. And I don't have to hold the paper once you start getting it wet. It's not moving. But um, once you start... When you do the food coloring, if you put your hands in it, it will stain your hands and it takes a little while to <laughs> scrub it with soap or whatever and get your hands clean. So, but I feel like I can see this avocado dye is not staining my fingers. So that's cool. Very cool. Almost done with these. This is all I do every night. Or not every night, but whenever I want to dye my papers. I just dye a few like this and believe it or not I have stacks of paper so you know I do it a lot but <clears throat> okay so let me I'm gonna feel like I have enough on there. I might just dab a little bit more on for you know to make sure they come out with shading and colors. I do like shading as far as you know splotches of color. I do like that and I like solid colors too so it's just whatever you like and sometimes you do the splotching like this and it kind of spreads into the paper overnight so it doesn't come out real splotchy sometimes. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on I guess it depends on the paper and things like that but um, I'm just going to swing you around and show you. I'm going to I think I'm done I'm going to swing you around and show you the pretty colors and then we'll let it dry overnight and I'll come back with the results video. But um, here's this row and then I've got, I've got three rows here. So excuse the uh, movement, but I want you to be able to see hopefully the colors are coming through. I knew they usually look better when in the actual video than when I'm seeing in the camera right now. So really pretty. Um, they look more pinky to me, so we'll see how they dry. But this is all just color from the avocado. So really cool, you know, and easy. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video with the re resulted uh, dry papers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.